AEW has a big MJF problem. In this video, I'm going to break it down exactly because AEW, we are now three months into 2024, such a pivotal year for AEW. And let's look at that in a vacuum for a minute because 2024 is when AEW needs to secure its Nets media rights deal. Whether they stay with Warner Bros. Discovery, where they remain on TBS and TNT with their three weekly TV programs, Dynamite, Rampage, Collision, or do they go to a new network? Do they branch off into the streaming world? What happens to their pay-per-view events? Because their pay-per-view events air, obviously, on BR Live Bleacher Report. What happens there? Their international deals are mostly tied up with Warner Bros. Discovery and or, you know, TNT Sports. And then when you look at someone like MJF, who was really the backbone of this promotion over the last 24 months or so, with the debacle that was the CM Punk incident, obviously John Monsley, he came in and filled the void, but MJF really took the title, the world title meaning, and, and took it to a different level. What they did in 2023, 2023 was the MJF show, if you think about it. So I understand that they launched Collision and they put CM Punk on that show, that weekly Saturday show. But when it comes to Dynamite and really after Punk's departure from, let's say, August to about December, it was the MJF show. There was not a lot exciting things going on in AEW, in my opinion, from a big storyline standpoint. Yes, you had the influx of the Adam Copelands of the world and him feuding with Christian Cage and Darby Allen's continuous momentum and, and staying kind of winding down. But it was the MJF show. You went out of your way, at least I did, to make sure that I saw those segments. Anytime that he did anything with Adam Cole, it was must-see television to the point where even though Adam Cole had suffered his leg injury and was had surgery they were doing those hilarious vignettes with adam copeland essentially just on the couch right and and it was so much fun and obviously that all went away at world's end in december of 2023 once mjf saw who was behind the devil's mask and obviously that was adam cole and adam cole has gone on and, and he's off of television mjf he was written off television when he lost the World Heavyweight title to Samoa Joe at the World's End pay-per-view and then was attacked by the United Kingdom, which is led by Adam Cole. The reason that we don't have MJF back on AEW television right now is because he needed time off. He needed time to just take a minute, take a deep breath, and recover, right? He was dealing with various injuries heading into World's End. He's branching off a little bit into Hollywood. Obviously, he had a role in The Iron Claw, the movie about the Von Erich family. He had a role in that movie, but it was ultimately cut. We still don't know when MJF will return to AEW. But when you look at the current product that AEW is presenting, it's a solid product. But what has really stood out in recent months okay well i can pinpoint two things you have the staying retirement okay well that's done you have samoa joe as world champion and AEW trying to hold off as as long as possible to not have swerve strickland beat samoa joe for the world title here's the point of this video everything that i've laid out from the reliance on MJF in late 2023 to the very, very obvious hole that MJF has left in AEW's product line. They are lacking a megastar right now. They are. And MJF brought that in 2023. Even go back to 2022 when he was off of television for so much longer before the hiatus and after the hiatus MJF was the guy to talk about in AEW 
he brings a different level of stardom to the promotion, which not a lot of guys can. He is someone that if if he ever went to WB, he would become a huge, huge star. Now, obviously, he had that ability. He had that option. He could have gone to WWE in 2023. Well, he could have agreed to a deal, I, I guess, because his deal expired technically in January of 24, but he obviously elected to re-sign with AEW, stay loyal to, to Tony Khan, stay loyal to All Elite Wrestling, right? But they need him way more than he needs them. You could make the case that he's being slightly held back in AEW compared to what they could have done with him in WWE, or, 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 and to be fair, to AEW, to be fair to MJF, to be fair to Tony Khan, he could have been a failure in WWE. We don't know. But the way that they've used the only two AEW talents to go from the rival promotion to, to WWE, well, they both thus far been major successes, right? Obviously, to, uh, Cody Rhodes being the biggest one, uh, WrestleMania headliner, he's about to WrestleMania main event, two straight nights um, with the tag team match, and then obviously the undisputed WB Universal Championship match, the second night of Mania against Roman Reigns. But what he's done in AEW has been great. So you'd like, if you're an MJF fan, or if you're MJF, you can't really be you know, have sour grapes the way that they've used him. But at a time where they're struggling to sell tickets and their ratings have slowly declined a little bit, not too bad, but their ticket sales is a major issue, something in which they have to correct. You need someone like an MJF who is there week in, week out, and you can put him on promotional material and be able to draw. And they also, in the meantime, need to fill that void with MJF. Well, how do you do so? Well, they're trying to do that with Swerve Strickland. He's not at the level of MJF, and it's not even close. But you got to start somewhere. And they definitely have something with him. And he has definitely caught fire with the AEW fan base. Now, whether or not he can transition into being that guy that MJF is for AEW, well, time will tell. But he certainly has the potential. They have unleashed Swerve Strickland. Now, when MJF does return, I would expect it to be around the time that Adam Cole is medically cleared from his recovery from surgery, whenever that may be. That Then you can just go directly into that feud, because that is the feud that you do with MJF. Like He's not going to just randomly return and feud with whoever. No, 